Hi, Todd Bourne here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on OracleTechsHomePage.com as well as the OracleTechsHomePage.com app. And as we look at the weather pattern, you can see a big upper level low producing quite a bit of snow across the upper Midwest and the Great Lakes. Uh, we are kind of in between disturbances as our next disturbance now moving into Southern California will give us our next best chance for some rain late Wednesday, Wednesday night through Thursday and possibly through much of Thursday night. And a few sprinkles will also be possible over the northern edge of the area uh, as we look ahead to Friday. And we'll kind of discuss the timing of all this with Futurecast here uh, in a second. In the meantime, high pressure at the surface bringing lots of sunshine to the Oracle text today. What's going to happen uh, during the next 24 hours? This high will kind of settle across the southern plains and on the uh, dry side of its circulation. We'll continue with the northwesterly wind uh, for tomorrow as we are looking at uh, lots of sunshine continuing across the Oracle text. But as this high slides to the east, and we will see the clouds. You can see them increasing across South Texas here uh, by tomorrow evening. Those clouds will begin to push into our area as we go through Wednesday. So here's a look at temperatures tonight. Another rather cold night as we'll dip into the low to middle 30s across the Oracle Tex. That includes 31 degrees in Texarkana, 34 in uh, Shreveport, 33 degrees in Natchitoches. Daytime highs tomorrow should rebound back up into the mid to upper 50s. Right around 55 in Texarkana, 58 tomorrow in Shreveport. Right around 58, 59 degrees in Natchitoches. 54 for the high temperature tomorrow in Marshall. Looking at Robin Sturdy Futurecast, you can see the quiet conditions heading through the rest of this Monday and Monday night as we will stay clear across the region. Going through your day Tuesday, expect once again plenty of sunshine. Another very nice day on the way for uh, tomorrow as the northwesterly wind will continue and will be uh, rather light at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Going through Tuesday night, we start off clear, but uh, late in the nighttime hours, a few high clouds begin to arrive. Those clouds will thicken up and move north as we go into Wednesday. And you can see Futurecast does ind indicate a little bit of rain will be possible late Wednesday across the area. That chance of rain will continue as we go through Wednesday night, uh, actually through Thursday. And you can see as we switch over to the longer range version of Futurecast, notice a little bit more intensity over the southeastern edge of the region, that basically down towards Manny and Natchitoches and points to the east. Those areas where we have seen or will see the yellow and oranges indicate where we might hear a few rumbles of thunder. At this point, not too concerned about severe weather for our area. If we have any severe weather, it's likely going to occur to the south and east of the Oracle Tex over uh, southeast Louisiana and points eastward into Mississippi and the southeastern sections of the country. Uh, we'll see the chance of rain continue through much of Thursday, although it will be heaviest Wednesday night into Thursday morning. Uh, heading through Thursday night, we stay cloudy as the main upper level feature moves in. Uh, we are looking at, uh, again, a few sprinkles possible Thursday night, mainly over the northern sections of the area. And Friday, we will begin with lots of clouds. Likely we'll close Friday with a little bit of sunshine as that main upper level feature finally moves to our east. As far as rainfall potential, Futurecast indicating that some locations over the southeast half of the Oracle Tex could see amounts pretty close to an inch, basically looking at a half an inch to an inch of rain over the northwestern half of the Oracle Tex, where we are basically looking at rain. Again, the main threat for any rumbles of thunder will be over the southeastern sections of the area where that potential will be highest as far as uh, the heavier rain. Here's a look at the overall pattern and you can see that uh, disturbance out west headed our way producing the rain as we go into Wednesday, Wednesday night, Thursday morning. Uh, the stronger thunderstorms ship to the east. There's that main upper level low, which is going to move across the area early Friday. And once that clears, we will see the drier air move in with lots of sunshine through the weekend as well as Monday. And then this disturbance right in here will possibly squeeze out a few showers for us as we go into next Tuesday. But all in all, temperatures will be uh, a bit cooler than we've experienced over the course of the last week for Christmas week. As we head into the next week, we should be close to maybe just a little bit above normal uh, as far as daytime highs and near and above normal as far as nighttime lows. So all that said, here's a look at your 7-day forecast first for Shreveport. You can see that chance of rain late Wednesday increases Wednesday night and Thursday. Most of the rain will actually occur Wednesday night and it should gradually taper off as we go through Thursday. Um, not too concerned about rain for most of the area Friday as we will see some late day sunshine and then lots of sunshine Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Notice the warm up despite the rain Thursday highs in the mid 60s in Shreveport will ease back into the 50s for Friday, Saturday, warm back up into the 60s Sunday and Monday with temperatures by the beginning of next week. Once again, in the mid to upper 60s for Shreveport and Texarkana, you're looking at again rain likely Wednesday night, wrapping up Thursday. Uh, you'll see a high Thursday at 60. 
61. 50s for Friday, Saturday, and then you too will return to the low to middle 60s as we go through the weekend and into the first part of next week. So all in all, it looks like more rain on the way after another nice day tomorrow. I expect the clouds to move in Wednesday with rain arriving late Wednesday, Wednesday night into Thursday.